let us now proceed to the gas laws. Let us have first the Boyle's law. Boyle's law states that the volume of a sample of a gas is inversely proportional to its pressure. To understand this principle, let us have a sample illustration here. For example, you have a syringe. Syringe is composed of a uh, of a plunger here. If you will not push the plunger like in this manner, the gas molecules here just move freely. So in other words, if the pressure is decreased, the volume increases. So what if you will push the plunger in this manner? So you push the plunger like this. Okay. So you have noticed that the molecules of gases here is sl uh, slightly compressed because you push the plunger. In, in, in this case, the pressure increases, the volume decreases. So that is what we call the principle of Boyle's law. I will repeat. If the pressure decreases, Okay, if the pressure decreases, the volume increases. This is what we call inversely proportional. Okay, if the pressure increases, the volume decreases okay so that's how the principle of Boyle's law being explained and let's have one simple problem for us to understand really what is Boyle's law okay so the problem is, uh, is this one we have here a sample of gas occupies 145 ml and exerts a 560 tour pressure at 20 degrees Celsius. Calculate its new pressure if the volume of the gas is increased to 290 ml at the same temperature. Okay? So how to solve for this problem here? Okay. In solving for the problem, we have to use the GAFSA method. So what is this GAFSA method? Okay, GAFSA method is short for given the asked the formula the solution and lastly the answer so let us solve the problem using the GAFSA method. So in the problem given, let's plot first the, the given. No? Of course, we have here P1 is 500 V1 is 145 ml and V2 is 290 ml and the unknown of the problem the one we're going to, to solve is P1 
2. And let's have the formula here. The formula for the Boyle's law is P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. Okay, now let's proceed now to the solution. Okay. So the formula now for P uh, for for the Boyle's law here, since the unknown is P2, so we have P2 is equal to P1 V1 over V2. So we will use this formula in solving for the problem. So I have here 560 tour multiplied by 145 ml divided by 290 ml since the unknown is uh, pressure 2 we will cancel out the unwanted units so we're going to cancel ml and Multiply 562 to 145 divided by 290. Then the answer is 280 tour. So this is now our answer here. 280 tour. Okay. So that's how to solve for the problem using the GAFSA method. Let's now proceed to the next one. Let us now have the Charles Law. Okay. Charles Law states that the volume of a gas is directly proportional to its temperature in kelvins at constant pressure. So to understand the principle, I will give you another um, sample illustration here. For example, I uh, will use the balloon as our example. We'll put the balloon under the sun. What do you think will happen to the balloon? Okay, if you put the balloon under the sun, it is understood that the molecules, the gas molecules inside the balloon moves faster. Okay, and what if we'll put this balloon inside the refrigerator? Okay, what if? It's inside the refriger uh, refrigerator now. So we, lots of ice inside, right? Ice. Of course, it's understood that the balloon will, will shrink. And the molecules move slower. Very slow. So in other words, if you go back to the principle of Charles' law, that states that the volume of a gas is directly proportional to the temperature, meaning... If the temperature increases, the volume of a gas also increases. And if the temperature of uh, the temperature de decreases, the volume of a gas also decreases. That is the meaning of directly proportional. To understand the principle, let us have a problem about uh, Charles' law. Here, 7 liters of hydrogen gas at 26 degrees Celsius was heated to 135 degrees Celsius while allowing the pressure to remain constant. What will be the volume of the gas after heating? Take note, this is degree Celsius. So we always, if you're given this kind of problem, always change this to Kelvin, okay? So let us now solve the problem using the GAFSA method. Okay. Same step. We'll use the GAFSA method.
we have the given the asked the formula the solution and the answer okay let's have the given first so we have T1 is equal to 36 degrees Celsius change it to Kelvin so you have just uh, add it to 273 and you will have 299 Kelvin and for T2 you have 135 degrees Celsius just add it to 273 and you have 408 Kelvin then the unknown here is V2 so the formula for the Charles law, we have V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. Since the unknown is uh, V2, so we have now um, so V1 T2 over T1 and we have here 7 liters times 108k over 299k so we have T2 is 955 liters and that's the answer here okay thank you and good day